Hey, so this is going to be a little bit of a follow-up from the Pisces, no, sorry, <laughs> the um, Aquarius reading that I did um, a couple days ago. Um, if you're waiting for the Pisces or Sagittarius readings, those should be up soon. But um, I just had some thoughts watching back um, the last video, the Aquarius video, that I thought I'd share. And um, just to start out with... Um, it was uh, funny to me that um, the uh, ancient aliens that I put on there, um, that was kind of just for fun, but um, I, you know, I've seen a lot of the episodes and um, obviously can't remember like what each one talks about beyond like basic and we had talked about gateways and stargates and, um, and that's why I put it, but um, it was weird I decided to go back and watch it and it was kind of weird to watch because it, it kind of mentioned at least um, half the things that came up in the reading um, which kind of was fortunate it worked out um, but it also uh, was the episode that talked about the Einstein Rosenbridge um, theory and I'm kind of I'm glad um, that it talked about that uh, since that also kind of had to do a little bit with um, the plays and the energetic plays and the data graphs that I've created the ballet um, data ballets I just don't really have a good name for them but um, yeah and it was just interesting since we were talking about um, aliens and time travel and all of that um, which really spoke to what I had talked about and at least tried to explain or um, I guess put out there in a more whimsical, childlike uh, storytelling way um, that was really, oh, I should have got, I have a book that I wanted to show you, um, that probably didn't make a ton of sense, but um, that really was the underlying um, beyond the meditation, beyond what it can do for you as a, I don't know, an meditative, um, creative, uh, mind sort of game, um, that it kind of expanded on that theory. Um, you know, I'm not a physicist, so I don't know a ton about that going beyond what I've, you know, has been able to figure out myself and research, but, um, yeah, the, the rainbow color filtered bridges that, um, we can create in our mind. So hold on. So the the bridges that we can make in our mind, um, connecting both hemispheres, getting um, the right and left creative analytical sides to work together. Um, and but I also thought it was funny, um, just thinking about this and the the rainbow, the rainbow bridge, um, Einstein Rosen bridge, gateways in our mind, the gateways in space, and um, also watching that Ancient Aliens episode and they talk about the headgear of Osiris, and that actually also came up in the reading, um, I think with the death card, and he's wearing some sort of helmet that is symbolic of, um, or the person in the card, is the skeleton in the card, is wearing some sort of helmet that's symbolic of Osiris's headgear, and um, that was mentioned in the episode, some sort of Osiris cage or Osiris device, screws in it. <laughs> um, and I was actually um, cleaning out my closet and found um, some some illustrations, <laughs> pictures that I did when I was little. I mean, this is just kind of for fun right now, but um, I thought it was funny that this one, <laughs> This one image um, is, uh, okay, I did these when I was like three, so um, <laughs> as these like little spikes going out, I thought maybe Frankenstein, you know, maybe I was thinking about Frankenstein or something, I don't know, but it also has the bridge going over the head, like that, and also is kind of on trend <laughs> with recent fashion trends and makeup trends and all the big 60s eyelashes and also kind of reminds me of, I don't know, she has different earrings on. She's eclectic. <laughs> um, 
yeah. I was thinking I need to frame these. Um, what's funny is though, when I when I was little, I had this like weird thing right here. I had this like blue vein or something like, I don't know what it was. Everyone always thought I had marker on my face and <laughs> it was just this very present blue vein right here, like light blue. And that's why I, I think I was drawing a self portrait. So, <laughs> so uh, I think that's what that is. My little blue vein there, um, weird. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> poor parents, I think I, I drew all over one of my dad's like, thesis, <laughs> um, papers, but also, um, the second thing I found, oh, this is just like a little angel <laughs> going through the sky. It reminded me of, um, the painting American Progress where the angel Columbia is traveling across the sky, but also probably just drawn an angel when I was little. Um, just finding little connections and links. This is my favorite though. This was my signature style growing up um, when I was little, how I draw people, you know, really with no torsos, just legs coming out of their head. Um, and <laughs> this was my first collaboration actually when I was in nursery school um, and uh, with my nursery school. Uh, they printed the, these. These guys were kind of famous, actually, within my my little environment. Um, and they put all of these guys on a T-shirt. So collaborations, <laughs> three-year-old collaborations. Um, but I think it's funny because I was also looking at that episode, and um, the aliens look like this. And I was like, hmm, maybe I was seeing aliens when I was little. Anyways. Um, more so, actually, I, I think I posted a picture of this on Instagram like a year or so ago because it also reminded me of the, if you've not heard of the Nazca lines, there's an El Astronado or something like that um, in Peru, and it looks just like this as well. Um, these huge, like, drawings in cliffs, and which you can only see from space, and they're just baffled as, as to how they were made, um, because they're perfect, and but they look there's one on the side of a mountain, and it looks a lot like this, these guys exactly. Furthermore, <laughs> um, what I think is funny is comparing my birth chart and this like stellium of planets that I have in the fifth house is completely represented here, um, and in order as well, like with colors and everything, um, starting with Venus and Scorpio. You even have the little fish here. Um, <laughs> And she's in pink, and she looks happy and in love. And <laughs> and then the next planet is Saturn, and he looks very strict, and he's in gray. And then I have my sun sign back here, <laughs> just like um, being happy and joyful. And that's kind of what I think of as my sun sign, you know, like four degrees, which is kind of the degrees also talks a little bit about, like, the maturity of that planet or just sort of, like, yeah, so um, when I think of my sun sign, I think of being like four years old and um, running on the beach and that kind of thing. Like that is the kind of personality that I associate with that sign. Um, and then I have Mercury um, here. And then, or maybe it's um, Mercury. Uh, and then, um, well, depending on asteroids, but um, then I have... Uranus, or maybe it's like Mercury, Uranus, um, actually Uranus, which is funny, kind of lines up with the tarot because um, the star 17 um, is usually associated with um, Aquarius, which is co-ruled by Saturn and Uranus, and I have it at 17 degrees, and so anyways, um, yeah, so then Uranus, um, and then Neptune in um, Capricorn. Capricorn's usually, uh, the house is usually shown with a green Capricorn symbol. So it goes totally in order, too. And they look like they even have personalities. I don't know. It was kind of funny to me. Um, just thought I'd share that. Who knows, maybe like, as a kid, we're more in touch with our, you know, planetary birth chart energy than we're even aware or something like that. Anyways, yeah, this was my, like... <laughs> signature style and um, thinking about bringing it back um, 
and uh, have a little project in the works here and see what goes on with that. More like uh, writing a little children's book and um, uh, I think that calling it, um, this reminds me of some sketch from W Magazine, like I have the title. Um, it's uh, <laughs> Tulip's Odyssey, coming out of space, coming down to Earth, traveling around planet, or traveling around the planet and different areas and um, actually I have a lot of the drawings set ready to go but I'm thinking about making it into like a, an Instagram series as well you know um, and uh, just wearing different clothes and things like that for her adventures you know coming from out of space she needs to see the earth she needs to see all the different um, things to do here and all the different places so just traveling around and wearing fun clothes um, and uh, yeah, seeing the world. Um, if you are a designer and you want me to draw some, um, feature your clothes on her as she travels, makes her way around the world, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I have the, the book pretty much ready to go. Um, and I'm gonna self-publish it, I think. And then, um, and then just create the little Odyssey journey, that ongoing thing. Um, she pops into different countries, different sightseeing, tourists, tourism, and <laughs> what to wear on those journeys. So anyways, uh, yeah, I, but I thought that was something that would be interesting to share. And um, if you are interested in going back and watching that episode or um, looking at some of those plays and <laughs> reading my sort of nonsense um, descriptions of traveling through space, and I mean, you kind of have to know also, like, projects I've done in the past like the lens series and I have sort of like plays on words like lensing gravity and stuff like that um so it all makes sense to me I don't know <laughs> so much about others but it's kind of like a love story between planets that's all on my Instagram um going backwards and um that meeting halfway <laughs> things of opposite natures coming together meant for each other to create that opening that gateway that um you know clear way through <laughs> Um, creating that love in a metaphoric sense, like rainbow, um, yeah, so seeing the whole spectrum, traveling through space, um, traveling through your imagination, um, seeing the world, seeing, yeah, finding your way through, navigating, navigating the, the gray, navigating the, um, navigating space-time, um, so anyways, um, yeah, I thought I would talk about that and also lead into my um, Pisces video and um, finish up with Sagittarius since that's my sign and I feel a little bit uh, funny doing a Sagittarius reading for some reason. Um, anyways, so look, keep an eye out for those if you're interested and um, check out the links below and yeah, hope you're having a great day. Bye.